In our country, we talk about people being heroes. The man that you guys see on my screen, let me see if I can get a slightly better picture of him. Let's see, like, like this one, so you can see his face a little bit better. He's an American hero. He's a hero to me, and he stands on justice. He stands for something, and what happened to him was extremely sad. But also, I say this to caution people. This is why you should be very careful when you are trying to stand in the place of law enforcement. It could be a dangerous thing, and it's a tricky thing, especially when you're talking about balancing what's legal and what's not legal. You could get yourself in trouble, too, which is why the police actually ask people not to take the law into your own hands because it could just be a very delicate thing and you could end up costing yourself, whether it be financially, jail time, or even in a situation that happened to this man where he lacked, he lost his life trying to do what he felt like was the right thing. So let's talk about this. Let's celebrate this young man. But I got to give you guys a disclaimer. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. He's an American hero. Let me give you guys this article that I'm getting this article from Fox2Detroit.com. So thank you so much for the article. A Pontiac teenager accused of fatally shooting the self-described vigilante Robert Wayne Lee, otherwise known as Bupak Shakur, which is a play on the, on the name Tupac Shakur. Bupak. That teenager was charged in a separate non-fatal shooting nine days earlier. Okay. The 16-year-old was arraigned on a single count of assault with intent to murder after he allegedly shot at someone on September the 20th, according to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office. The same team fatally shot this man that you guys see on my screen, Robert Wayne Lee Bupak Shakur is the name that he was going by. He was shot on September 29th outside a restaurant. A release from the prosecutor's office said that the September 20th shooting wasn't immediately taken to law enforcement. The incident was later reported by the victim's mother, who was concerned of suspicious activity potentially involving gangs. A motive for the September 20th shooting is unclear. Well, I could actually give you guys some clarity to that. I give you some clarity to that. The same suspect is alleged to have killed Lee, who also went by Bupak Shakur. Shakur was known around the community as an individual who participated in sting operations of child predators, which you guys hear a lot about that. And we're going to talk about um, Sheriff Grady Judd out of Polk County in Florida. So it sounds like he was kind of trying to emulate that. And I could actually respect where his heart was on this. I really can. A release from the prosecutor's office said that the shooting wasn't immediately uh, taken to law enforcement. The same suspect is alleged to have killed Lee, who also went by Bupak Shakur. Shakur was known around the community as an individual who participated in sting operations of child predators. That includes one case that led to an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy being charged. So this man was doing God's work. He was gunned down outside Universal Coney Island. The Oakland County Sheriff refuted initial reports that he was confronting the accused pedophile before assaulting him. The individual he became the individual he became heated with was not the individual who shot him, Sheriff Michael Bouchard said. According to the prosecutor's office, an 18-year-old who was present during Lee's fatal shooting was also present during the separate uh, September 20th shooting. The shooting of Mr. Lee and possible motives for his killing remain unclear or remain under investigation. It's too early to say whether there is any connection between the two, sh the two shootings. The teen's case was designated by the prosecutor 
meaning the suspect will be tried as an adult, which is great. If convicted, a judge will determine whether to sentence him as a juvenile, as an adult, or if he should receive a blended sentence, which means they'll consider the age of either charging as a minor and an adult. Here's what I believe. I believe this was probably a hit that was put out on him for trying to do the right thing and catch child predators because these children can't speak for themselves nor defend themselves against the tyranny of these predators. And it's so crazy how the more they do these sting operations, the more people to get caught. Well, if these sting operations work so well, then what does that mean? What exactly does that mean? What that means is that this is big business. Because if you have children who are being taken advantage of by predators, that means there has to be a market for it. And if there's a market for it, just like drugs, then that means people will kill people, cause the death of people. Eliminate people who are trying to stop this big business. See what I'm saying? So especially if there was a deputy, a police person that was involved in one of these things and got caught up and got arrested and probably going to be going through court behind their illicit deeds. Shout out to illicit deeds, by the way. Then it would be surmisable that somebody might have put a hit out on him and sent somebody who was just slightly underage so that maybe they wouldn't have their entire life ruined and could take him out and that person could also potentially get paid and get out of jail with a slap on the wrist. That's my opinion. This man is a hero and I believe that they put a hit out on him. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I know punching a person in the face, even if that's what he did, I think that's alleged, but that could potentially cause a person to retaliate or maybe somebody else to retaliate on him. But I think in my personal opinion, I think it's bigger. I think there's a bigger picture and I think that he was viewed as a threat to a much bigger thing that's going on in this child black market. Do me a favor and please hit that thumbs up and let me know what you guys think. Like I say, I know I kind of think outside the box, but that's what I'm here for. I'm here to just give you guys my opinion and let you know what I think. We begin tonight with two people behind bars accused in the killing of a Pontiac man known for pursuing sexual predators. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Simon Shaykhet. Robert Lee, known as Bupak Shakur, was shot and killed at Universal Coney Island in Pontiac last night. Lee had a large social media following and would pose as young girls online, then record confrontations with sexual predators whom he communicated with. Tonight, Friends and family gathering to host a vigil for Lee. 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock has a closer look at Lee's history and this warning from law enforcement. Robert Lee, a.k.a. Bupak Shakur, made it his mission to expose child predators. Last night, he was killed right here inside this Coney Island. Tonight, people gathered around it to pay their respects. I talked to a lot of victims and they appreciate what I do. That was Robert Lee back in January. For a little over a year, the Pontiac native used social media to pose as underage girls to catch sexual predators. He would forward his conversations to police. Lee would even confront the would-be predators himself. Videos like this one were posted on Lee's Facebook page of him confronting alleged predators. This video has almost 3,000 views. Certainly he was a very well-intentioned person, you know, very much in alignment with our philosophy. We want to see uh, child predators taken off the street, held accountable. We want to protect kids. Lee was fatally shot inside Universal Coney Island near North Perry and MLK Boulevard late Friday night. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard says Lee confronted two men who were inside the restaurant. 
He even accused one of the men of being a pedophile. The confrontation escalated very quickly, and ultimately the second individual in the booth produced a uh, firearm and shot him uh, multiple times. Police have arrested the two suspects involved in Lee's shooting. They haven't released their names because they haven't been formally charged yet. According to Sheriff Bouchard, Lee's one-man crusade led to arrest and criminal charges of several men. The sheriff says this type of vigilantism can be very dangerous. He doesn't recommend people confronting predators. Oftentimes, if you actually corner a predator, sometimes they become violent. They get trapped. They, you know, try to get away using any means at their fingertips. Meanwhile, Lee will be missed by his family, friends, and the fans of his work. He really changed a lot of lives. He really cared about the kids of the community. He wanted to, he wanted to keep everyone's kids safe. And he was just a really, really caring person in the community. He really cared about this city a lot. In Pontiac, Tierra. Robert Lee was known for exposing those who troll teens online, using social media to pose as an underage girl luring in predators. I'm caught 35, he'd be number 35 that I caught. This is from an interview we did with Lee last year, after he outed a sheriff's deputy for allegedly trying to solicit sex from a minor. That deputy was fired as a result. He kept going from there, until last night when a confrontation cost him his life. Police say he confronted two men inside of Coney Island in Pontiac. Lee accused one of them of being a pedophile and punched him. In return, one of the men pulled out a knife, the other a gun, and shot Lee to death. At a vigil outside the restaurant, friends and family mourned his death. We're going to honor his memory. Um, we're here to show support and show that you know, everything he did was not for nothing. We're here to show that he really made an impact on the community. From the get, police have called Lee's work well-intentioned, but dangerous. We know he has good intentions from this, um, and we've actually suggested to this individual multiple times, this is really dangerous. And here's some of the problems and pitfalls with doing this. And um, tragically, it played out that way. Two men have been arrested in connection to the killing. Police say the suspected shooter is 17 years old and the other man is 18. Reporting in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Thanks. We turn now to a community mourning a Pontiac man known for trying to catch online sexual predators. Her na his name is Robert Lee. He's also known as Bupak Shakur, and he had a large social media following. And yes, you're saying he must have had a lot of beef by doing this. I 100% agree. I want you to think about this. First of all, people are going to probably feel some kind of way if you're getting them caught up in court and going to jail, potentially going to prison behind whatever actions that they're doing. But you're talking about they said he said he's caught close to 35 people. That's why I believe that that amount of people and he's a threat to this disgusting underground black market business of kids. He's viewed as a threat. And people and that's why I think that people that have this mentality that think it's OK to um, to do this type of stuff to kids. I don't think that there is any rehabilitation for them. I think a life sentence for every single one of them is necessary and justified. I don't think they can ever be rehabilitated. Let me know what you guys think about that. But because of that, because they can't be rehabilitated, they're going to fight for what it is that they want, even if that means that they have to stop somebody from trying to mess up their little game, their little nasty little game. So, yes, I 100 percent agree. He had he probably had a lot of beef behind this. I, I agree with you. He would pose as a young girl online and record confrontations with accused predators that he communicated with. But investigators say one of his confrontations ended with his death. It happened at Universal Coney Island in Pontiac. Seven Action News reporter Peter Maxwell joins us now live from outside the Oakland County Sheriff's Department with how the community is remembering Lee. Peter. Well, the victim in this case was very well known in Pontiac and very well known to law enforcement for trying to protect children from online predators. 
back in January, Seven Action News spoke with Robert Lee, also known as Boobox Shakur, on social media. I talk to a lot of victims, and they appreciate what I do. For just over a year, Lee, a Pontiac native, used the power of social media. There, he'd pose as an underage girl to catch sexual predators. He was really dedicated to this. The conversations that he had with them would then be forwarded to police. And sometimes Lee himself would confront the would-be predators and even recording those interactions and then posting them on social media. And this video has almost 3,000 views. Certainly he was a very well-intentioned person, you know, very much in alignment with our philosophy. We want to see uh, child predators taken off the street, held accountable. We want to protect kids. Lee was killed late Friday night inside Universal Coney Island near North Perry and MLK Boulevard in Pontiac. The Sheriff's Department says Lee confronted two men ages 17 and 18 inside the restaurant, even accusing one of the men of being a pedophile. The confrontation escalated very quickly and ultimately the second individual in the booth produced a uh, firearm and shot him uh, multiple times. After an intense search, police arrested the two men involved in Lee's shooting on Saturday. The names of the men have not been released because formal charges have not been filed. Sheriff Bouchard says Lee's work has led to the arrests and criminal charges of several men, including an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy last year. Sheriff Bouchard says the work that Lee did can be very dangerous and does not recommend that people confront predators. Oftentimes, if you actually corner a predator, sometimes they become violent. They get trapped. They, you know, try to get away using any means at their fingertips. And the Oakland County Sheriff's Department is expected to turn the case over to prosecutors sometime today. And once we learn the names of those two men, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting in Pontiac, I'm Peter Maxwell. Now, I've been watching some of you uh, guys' comments in the comment section, and I definitely understand kind of what a lot of people are coming from as far as, you know, y'all are saying, like, he walked up on them and started punching on people. Well, here's the thing. Like, first of all, it wasn't unprovoked. When you're talking about potentially messing with someone's child and what your intentions were. So it's like he confronted them with this illicit information saying, hey, this is what y'all was trying to do. I know what y'all was trying to do, blah, blah, blah. And then from there, you know, if this is not like a like a random act of violence, a person just didn't know this person, didn't know what was going on. You just walk up, just start punching somebody. Yes, you have the right to defend yourself. And, and it might sound odd that I might say this or maybe it just sounds weird just hearing this information. But if you're confronted with and you know that you've been ga been engaging in conversations like this and somebody walks up to you and say, no, it was actually me that you were talking to. And I think that at that point, like if you get punched in the face, you should just take the punch in the face. I don't think that you at that point have the right to defend yourself. I know that might sound weird. Might sound weird. I don't have all the answers here. What I can say is if you talk about you have all these members of the community from gang members to to community activists or whatever it is that won't stand up and protect children or stand up and defend this man who is actually trying to expose the bad apples in the bunch then i don't really know what we're doing in our society if we feel like we can't support and defend this person whose heart is in the right place Maybe even with the police, maybe they felt like, hey, look, you got a police caught up. You got one of our boys in blue caught up the blue wall of silence and we don't want to deal with you. Maybe that has something to do with it. But if it were me, I'd be proactive and I'd find a way to hire this man like on some type of special force or something like, hey, look, let's get you trained. Let's get you proper. Let's get you legal. If you want to help, we'll find a way for you to be legal, do things the right way. And protect yourself and you can still go out here and do some type of work and I think that's the type of actions that need to be funded get him in the right space his heart is in the right place his mind is in the right place and unfortunately like I said his life ended and it shouldn't have because we should have more people who are out here willing to 
defend their communities and defend their children. But like I say, just understand that stepping out here like this on your own is a very, very dangerous thing. And I can't in right in, in, in any right sense tell people you should step in his place and do what he's doing. If there's a more legal way a more trained way to go about doing this or maybe just giving information to the right people or letting those people do their jobs or maybe they should uh i don't know like have like a a open place for people that for people to be able to apply or something i don't know really what can do but i think this man was a hero the fact that he lost his life young king r.i.p thank you for your service Thank you for what you were trying to do. And I think that what's in your heart and that energy that you gave will reciprocate on the world. And that energy never dies. Thank you guys so much for listening to this man's story. Mr. Lee, Bupak Shakur, R.I.P.